President Nicolas Maduro uh, says that he knows for sure that uh, who is behind the attacks against him, specifically Colombia, since uh, the Venezuelan authorities have captured and interrogated several individuals who allegedly took part in the killing plans, as uh, President Maduro said. Maduro claims that several of those involved in the attack live in uh, Florida and that he hopes for U.S. government to help him with the investigation. Although no names were provided, Maduro said that he will have no mercy with those who try to kill him, but, uh, but failed. After the alleged attacks, President Maduro spoke to the nation and explained that he saw a flying object which uh, exploded in front of him while he was giving a speech to the Venezuelan uh, National Guard here in Caracas. There are reports from some firefighters who were at the event who said that the incident the incident was actually a gas tank explosion inside an apartment which was closed to where Maduro was uh, given his speech. But President Maduro claims uh, what happened was just an attempt to kill him, that there is no doubt about it. Now there are new reports of an alleged group of people known as a Phoenix uh, Operation. Uh, this group of people is integrated by civilians and National Guards, supposedly, and um, they say that they are the responsibles for mm -hmm. the attacks that took place uh, on Saturday. But uh, this is an information that still needs to be confirmed by the Venezuelan authorities. Okay, so a very dramatic event there. And what has been the reaction in Venezuela and in the region to this? Well, the uh, Colombian uh, government responded to President Maduro's accusation and said that the President Maduro's statements that, uh, that put former Colombian President Nicolás uh, Juan Manuel Santos, sorry, as the responsible for the attacks are completely not true and lack any type of veracity. And presidents from Bolivia, Nicaragua, and El Salvador expressed their solidarity with uh, towards President Nicolás Maduro. Now, there is a, a tense calm in Venezuela right now. Most uh, streets are uh, des deserted and people are in their homes. But on social media, there is a lot of comment from people who believe the government is just trying to create a distraction from Venezuela's real problems, such as extreme shortages of food and medicine in a deep economic crisis. Mm -hmm. And Juan Carlos, Maduro's um, popularity uh, is, unpopularity is growing at the moment. What more can you tell us about that? Well, over the last month, we have seen uh, widespread protests in uh, Venezuela people demanding President Nicolás Maduro to, do, uh, to promise less and to do more to solve the economic crisis, the shortages of food and medicine. And, but President Nicolás Maduro insists that what's going on in Venezuela right now is uh, the result of an economic war backed by the United States and the Venezuelan opposition, a war which is aimed to destroy his government and the Venezuelan people. But uh, some people on social media, they are saying that there are enough of promises that they want to change right now. And President Nicolás Maduro says he has a plan he, that the Venezuelan people just need to be patient for it. Mm-hmm.